Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today um, we've been working on a engine project. Uh, this is a K20A3 that we are parting out. Um, as you can see, we have all these parts laid out here. But basically, this is the head of the engine. We are parting it out because it was damaged. And um, if you want to come take a look, basically, if you don't know much about cars, most people won't know this. Um, these are your valves, and on top of each one of the valves, there is one of these springs. And I'll give you a closer look. There's one right there. So that is a valve spring. And the head is damaged, so we're, we're trying to sell all these parts, but we can't. Cylinder, and each cylinder has four springs. So we got 16 springs to work with, and a piece of wood right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make the base, like a footprint, out of this piece of wood and then somehow affix uh, I guess eight springs per shoe. Uh, these are really tough springs. Um, I can barely compress them with my hand but being as though um, I weigh almost 160 divided by two is 80 pounds so it's still only be 10 pounds per spring but that's not bad. Maybe when we start jumping it'll work pretty nicely. Um, so let's get started at the building. So um, for this project, this is what we'll be using. So if you want to do this, you can use similar items. So like I said earlier, we're going to be getting our springs off of the head of this engine. But because most of you probably won't have one of these laying around, you can probably just look for similar springs from a hardware store or maybe something else around your house that has a spring in it maybe. Um, for the base, we're going to be using this, I think, half inch thick plywood. Nothing special. Um, Tool-wise, um, to affix these springs to the board, I had to think about that one for a little bit because it's nothing easy. Um, but I think we're going to be using a drill with a drill bit the same size as the spring to create a pocket. I'll explain that later. Um, got some glue for attaching these springs to the board, some duct tape. Uh, a jigsaw for cutting the wood and some tools for removing these springs. Alright, so the first step for us is to take all these springs off of the engine. Basically to do that I'm just using a little pipe, pushing them down, there's little retainers, and then going to take them all off the engine. So here we have all the springs out and now it's time to make the base. So to make the base we're going to be using like I said half inch plywood but Thicker might be a little better, like if you have three quarter, maybe use some of that, but this is all I could find right now. So first what we're going to be doing, as you can see, I can perfectly fit both my feet right here. So we're going to be using a marker, and I'll start by tracing the outside of my foot. Alright, so here's my two traced out feet. Um, obviously they're pretty terrible, but that's okay. And then we're going to be using this little hacksaw, and I'm going to go ahead and cut them out, and then we're going to try and affix the springs to them. And here we have... I'll clean it up a little bit, but here we have one of the feet, kind of, and then <laughs> I'll do the other one. All right, we're gonna make them look a little bit nice with some black spray paint as well. So while the spray paint is drying on the spring shoes, we're gonna go ahead and make these straps because basically this is just the base, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie it to my shoe. So we're going to be making these strap out of duct tape, just common household item, and basically the design, um, oh, oh poop. So this is a flipped over shoe right here. So to make the strap, make sure it's not ripped like I just did. But basically take a piece, and this of course depends on the size of the base of your shoe. But you basically want to get a piece that's long enough so that you can picture it wrapping around the base and the top of your shoe. So something like that should be okay. And then go ahead and cut it. 
And what we're going to do is stick it to the bottom of the shoe and then it'll essentially wrap over the top. But because you don't want the part getting on your shoe sticky, you're going to lay it down on the floor, the piece of duct tape, sticky side up just like this. And then cut another piece of duct tape, probably about six inches long. One second. About that long. Just like that. And then stick it on the end, uh, sticky side to sticky side, so that you have a piece that's not sticky. And that will essentially go like this over top of your shoe. And then this piece can go over top and stick to that. And of course, over here, as you can see, I've already made the other one. So now it's time to put the springs on the shoe. All right, so now we're going to be adding these springs to the base. So this is the underside of the shoe. And so basically, like I said earlier, we have eight springs per shoe. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is kind of do a few on the um, heel and a few on the um, toe end of your foot, the ball, I guess. So I'm thinking of spacing them out four and four, just like that approximately. And what that allows to do, um, like I just showed you, is the straps we made out of duct tape. As you can see, there's a perfect um, space for the strap, and it's also nice and evenly balanced. So to do that, what we're going to do is grab the drill and drill bit. And this is a one inch drill bit right here. Um, depends on what size spring you have, but basically, as you can see, it is about the same diameter as the spring. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole and then we can, oh, I'm going to have to hold on to it. I'll show you after. So there we have the drilled hole and it was a little small so I just basically wiggled the drill around like this and widen up the pocket and of course this by no means will hold it in place it is just strictly going to be used to seat it a little bit so as you can see if I push and even spin a little bit it actually gets kind of seated in there um, so what I'm going to do is drill all of those and then we'll get to gluing them in so there we have the bases of these shoes with all the holes in them and I already double checked and all the springs fit nicely so now um, to glue the springs in, we're going to be using this five-minute two-part epoxy. Now, if you've, never used this, if you've never used this before and don't want to read the label, basically just get yourself a scrap container because it will get destroyed. And go ahead and squeeze both in at the same time. Get 50-50 of each. And we have lots of shoes, so we're going to need a lot of glue but don't necessarily make it all up at once because once it sits for about five minutes as it says it'll get a little too hard to use so go ahead and stir it together and then what we're gonna do let me just make sure it's nice and mixed up you can see it kinda starts to change into a cloudy white it's hard to tell on camera but in person you can kinda tell uh, basically the two part one's a hardener one's a resin um, this one's really strong, I've used it before. Now, I'm going to have to work quickly before it all dries, but basically, basically what I'm going to try and do is use the glue only as a, um, like an extra measure. I'm going to try and get them to press fit in anyway. So basically I'm just putting glue on the tip of the spring. Um, luckily these for the engine have a very flat surface. And then, of course, put it glue side down right here like this in the shoe. And you're just going to push it in. I find if you twist it, it actually acts like a screw and screws in place almost. And then, boom. Now, it does cure in five minutes, but takes probably more like an hour or so to fully harden. Or maybe even 24, but I'm not that patient. So I am going to glue them all in there off camera so I can be really quick about it before this hardens up. And then I'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, so here we are with the spring shoes. Um, I let the epoxy dry now for probably over an hour while I finish watching Spider-Man. And um, this is what we came out with. They're pretty strong. Um, one thing is that these springs, which I just used because I had them laying around, are pretty darn strong, like hard to compress. So these won't be super bouncy like the moon shoes from the 90s, but uh, they won't be bad. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attach the straps now. So basically, got the sticky and the non-sticky part. So we're going to try and put it just so the, see what I'm doing here, just so the sticky part is right at the edge. Flip it upside down. I'm going to go ahead and stick stick it to the bottom of the shoe. This is the left shoe, of course. And then I'm going to go ahead and try. We're going to put my shoe on top and then the non-sticky go first. And then with the sticky part, wrap it around like a Velcro shoe. And bam! A spring shoe. Alright. I think it's time for a test drive. Tightening up the straps. Alright, so first impressions of the spring shoes. They don't compress very much when walking. Um, come, come get an up close horizontal shot of this. So here we go. When I put it on the ground, there's like my full weight on one shoe. So they don't compress too much. But you can feel when you're walking, it's like you're kind of walking on grass. So it's kind of cool. Uh, we'll try bouncing with a side shot. So first we'll do the compression test of the springs. Um, the bouncing test, I guess. So here's um, like two feet. They barely compress at all. Um, on one foot, they compress a little bit more, obviously, but nothing major. And now let's try jumping and uh, see how that goes. All right, jumping test with the spring shoes. Here we go. Um, they're probably gonna break, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got some height. <laughs> Um, all right, so my one shoe lost four of the springs, but uh, the other shoe is still going. <laughs> oh, oh, now that one's done. All right, so here's the um, aftermath, I guess. So it's kind of weird that on both of mine, on this one, every one on the toe fell off, and on this one, every one on the outside of my foot fell off. So I think what that means is um, the way I glue these in and the depth of the pocket meant if they were on ever like uh, a little bit of an angle, they would just pop right out because there's not much holding them in place there. Um, so on this one, I must have landed on my toe funny and it kind of scraped them off. And on this one, I must have landed sideways like this and they fell off as well. But the idea is there. I may try these again in the future, but think of a better way to secure these down. If you have any um, suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Um, one thing I had, one idea my girlfriend and I had here was like using a little plate and screwing it down into it. Um, kind of like you saw on the engine, how they all have little plates on top. Um, but of course you couldn't do that from the top or else they wouldn't compress. And we're going to try and maybe if we do this again, find some softer springs because these were not very bouncy. Hard to see on camera, but they definitely did absorb some shock. Um, I still hope you liked, I still hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this idea was my girlfriend's idea, so I'll give her credit for that. Um, and I think it worked out pretty well, aside from the fact that we destroyed both of them. But thanks for watching everyone. If you want one of these spring, springs um from the legendary shoes just send me a message and i'll make sure to send them out <laughs> um thanks for watching everyone anyway hope you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and help me get to 200k congratulations if you stuck around this long this is kyle's
1993 Lexus Aristo. Um, if you want to see more videos on this car, just check, check out our YouTube channel, JD Mods. It's a pretty cool car. It's a very fast car. So uh, if you like cars, go check that out.